Hello everyone out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you are new here, I'm a certified holistic nutritionist. And if you're not new here, then welcome back and welcome to today's video. And today I want to share with you eight ways to improve your energy levels. I wanna talk about some things that we can do, some foods that we can eat, different nutrition and lifestyle hacks as well for boosting our energy. I'm also happy to be partnering up again with iHerb for today's video. iHerb is one of the world's largest online health food stores. They have a selection of over 30,000 natural health products from food to supplements, you name it, and they ship to over 150 different countries. They also ship everything from climate controlled distribution centers so that they make sure that the quality of their products remain by the time that they get to you. They also have 24 seven customer support in 10 different languages so they are great. Um, be sure to check out the description box below because I will be leaving links to some of the food products that I'll be talking about in today's video so you can check those out below. And before I get started with sharing some ways to improve our energy levels, um, I first want to just briefly talk about the importance of understanding what might be causing us to be experiencing really low energy levels in the first place. So whether it's lack of sleep or staying up really late or we're not eating enough through the day a couple of these things we will be exploring in today's video but other things as well like nutrient deficiencies so for example low iron levels um, low thyroid function these things can definitely um, impact our energy levels as well and it's really important that you speak to your doctor about these kinds of things if you have any concerns there so with all that being said let's get started Number one, I'm gonna start things off here really simple, and that is to hydrate, to make sure that we are properly hydrated. Um, dehydration can definitely make our energy levels plummet. Uh, we wanna make sure that we are drinking enough water through the day, um, and it's something that's great to do first thing in the morning, kind of right after we wake up, have a nice big glass of water. You could add in some lemon or some lime or some orange or some other citrus fruits um, to kind of give you a little boost of flavor, but also sometimes the smell of citrus is really nice and can be a bit energizing as well um, and also even just in general there are a lot of um foods that are naturally very water rich, things like citrus fruits, but also things like cucumber and lettuce and melon, peaches. These are also a wonderful way for us to get in some of that, that water content into our, our diet through foods. Number two is to possibly reduce your coffee intake or try switching things up with a couple of alternatives. If you're someone who drinks a lot of coffee, um, and there's a couple of different reasons for this. Having a lot of caffeine in our day can cause some highs and lows in our energy levels not necessarily for everyone but for some people um, caffeine is a stimulant and in some cases having a lot of caffeine can also kind of tax our adrenal glands as well it can um, add a little bit of stress on the body and so if you're finding that you are relying on coffee quite a lot um, as a stimulant to kind of give you energy to help you wake up every single day or stay awake through the day, then you might want to consider switching some things up here um, just to kind of give your body a little bit of a break from such a large amount of caffeine uh, regularly. So if you want, you could try uh, green tea or matcha is great. Um, I really love the brand Organic Traditions. Their matcha um, is really lovely. I've been a matcha fan for a really long time now. I'm personally not a coffee drinker, but these are great. And they do contain caffeine, but not as much uh, necessarily as, as coffee will. And so they can be really great alternatives. Which, what's nice too is that matcha, for example, also contains an amino acid called L-theanine, which has kind of some calming, more anti-stress properties to it. So you might find that you, you feel really good with these types of drinks. I also love green tea, I'm a big fan of it, I drink it quite often. Um, and I really like the, the decaf green tea from Yogi, they're great. And these you can get um, from iHerb. Number three is to make sure that you are eating sufficiently throughout the day. Uh, and in particular, that you are keeping your blood sugar as balanced as possible. We have to make sure that we are just simply eating enough through the day, that we're not skipping meals, we're not um, going too long of a period of time without eating. 
we are having a big enough breakfast and we're just generally eating enough through the day because if we're not, we are setting ourselves up for having some serious dips in energy. So make sure that you are getting enough things like complex carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats in your diet and in each of your meals every single day. And also remember that carbohydrates are the brain's primary source of fuel. So we definitely don't want to be depriving ourselves of this really important macronutrient through the day. So things like brown rice and millet and sweet potato and squash, um, you know, these kinds of things are great sources. Oats as well, this is a great source of um, some complex carbohydrates to keep you feeling energized um, through the day. Protein is also really, really important, um, especially first thing in the morning with your breakfast um, and also with all of your meals. But protein is important for helping you to feel satiated, um, helps to bring some balance to that blood sugar and um, sustain your energy levels. So when it comes to snacks, think of things like fruit and nuts, maybe a handful of, of nuts or like a trail mix or apple or banana with almond butter, uh, avocado toast is great, these kinds of things. Hummus, these are, are great options for some snacks that will keep you feeling a lot more balanced. Or if you want, you could try my chocolate energy balls uh, that are made with cacao and walnut, almonds, um, hemp seeds and dates. They're a great kind of snack that you can whip up in a food processor, just mix everything together in a food processor and then uh, you can form them into balls. There's no cooking required. Walnuts are a really good source of healthy, satisfying fats. Dates help to give you that good boost of energy as well. And hemp seeds are a really wonderful source of not only healthy fats and fiber, but also some plant-based protein. And of course, cacao, which is a very energizing superfood that does contain some caffeine, but also plenty of antioxidants and minerals like magnesium. I also like to toss in some Celtic sea salt that uh, also has a little boost of minerals in there as well, just to kind of balance out the sweetness. And once I've rolled them into balls, I also like to roll them in some chopped almonds as well. You could do shredded coconut. Uh, you could also add in any other ingredients that you like, like goji berries or anything like that. They're great to take with you on the go. I will leave the recipe to them uh, below. And if you're short on time, something that I suggest doing here is trying a protein powder or like a protein and greens powder, something that you can whip together really easily. This kind of thing can be really helpful to make sure that you're getting that boost of nutrition, that boost of protein, um, just a little bit of something, whether it's in the morning or midday. I really like the protein and greens powder by Garden of Life. Their vanilla flavor is my favorite. And I'll sometimes mix it into a smoothie or what you can do is you can just take a scoop and mix it into some almond milk. That's a great thing for you to do as well. My next point is to eat more energizing B vitamin rich foods. These include foods like bananas and avocado and nutritional yeast. Green leafy vegetables are fantastic, really nutrient dense, so kale and collards. Um, whole grains too, brown rice, millet, same with poultry and fish and eggs are great too. And also other foods as well like beans and lentils and sunflower seeds and almonds. Now speaking of B vitamins, something else I want to point out here too that can be really helpful is actually taking a B complex. So a B complex is a supplement that provides you with all of the essential B vitamins. So B1, B2, B3, right? Your niacin, riboflavin, um, your B5, your B6, B12. This is really important, um, especially because in some cases, if we are low in vitamins like B12, then we can see lower levels of energy. So a B complex that I really, really like is by AOR. This is their advanced B complex. This has been one of my favorites for years. You can get this um, on iHerb. And it's great, it's, it's a wonderful, formula. It contains the active forms of vitamins, including the active form of folate, methyl tetrahydrofolate, methyl cobalamin, all of these good ones. So B-complex is something that you can consider. But again, you know, always speak to your doctor if you're concerned about being low in B12. Or if you're not sure if you are, then reach out to your doctor and um, kind of get that sorted out with them. The next point here is to tune in to your cycle phases. Our energy levels 
you know, can shift throughout the month just based on where we're at in our cycle and the different changes that are happening with us, hormonally speaking. So for example, in a lot of cases, myself included, this is definitely something that I notice every single month, like clockwork, is after um, ovulation, that kind of period there, um, and in the luteal phase, so that two week window approximately before you get your period, I find that my energy really kind of um, dips. And I, have, I feel like I just have a lot less energy during that time. Uh, sometimes it fluctuates a bit, but um, even you know, just being on your period as well, this can definitely cause you to have um, just lower energy levels. And so by being aware of this, we're much better able to have some more compassion for ourselves and just understanding, hey, you know, this is kind of where I'm at, this is how I'm feeling, I'm not quite as energetic as I would like to be, um, and you can hopefully, in some ways, shift your you know lifestyle choices or make some tweaks in your schedule to kind of fit with that. This is actually called cycle syncing. If you've ever heard of it before, there's a really good book by Elisa Vitti that I will leave linked below uh, where she talks about cycle syncing. Make sure that you're giving yourself enough breaks through the day and also just in general taking time off when you need it. Something that I feel is really important to mention here, if you are a creative person like I am, we can only exert so much energy and creative energy at a time before we just can't anymore, right? We need to have those, those breaks in order for us to recuperate and get some of that creative energy back or productive energy really with whatever that it is. So um, make sure that you're taking breaks and you're giving yourself that time and also taking time off when you know that you need it. Um, burnout is a real thing. It's, it's real and it can deplete our energy like crazy. I went through a really bad spell of burnout actually for the very first time um, last year and I just my energy was shot. I had no energy and what did I need? I needed to take time off. I needed to stop. I needed to take a little bit off of my plate. And so um, if that's you, if you are feeling stressed or burnt out or anything like that, then do your best to um, try and, and take a bit of a break or a step back in, in any way that you can or asking for help. Next is to get outside. Getting outside and, and being out with some fresh air is a fantastic way to kind of reinvigorate you um, and, and energize you. It's a great way to energize you and just generally moving, right? A lot of times when we are sitting for very long periods of time, um, it drains us and we need to get up and we need to move. And um, getting outside is a great way to do that. Actually, exercise and movement is one of the best ways to re-energize us. Even something as simple as doing some light stretching is really great here. Um, even in the morning, as a way to wake you up. I actually have a whole video up on my channel that I filmed a couple of years ago on five easy morning stretches in bed that you can actually do from your bed. So I'll leave that video link below if you wanna give it a watch. And lastly, number eight, uh, this is definitely a very important point here, and that is to make sure that you're getting enough sleep. So sleep, deprivation of any kind, not getting enough sleep, um, staying up late, waking up through the night a lot, these kinds of things are, you're almost guaranteed to have wonky energy the next day, to be really tired, fatigued, um, and drained. And so, you know, I've talked about this in different kinds of videos before. I also do have a whole video on some tips for getting a better night's sleep, so I will leave that linked below. But one of the best tips that I could share with you um, in today's video is to do your best to have a consistent sleep schedule. And so what that means is going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time each day as much as you possibly can because our bodies love routines and we do really well when you know, when we're on that routine where our body expects that it's time for bed and our body expects it's time to, it's time to wake up, uh, we actually respond really well to that. And that's a great way to support your sleep and your circadian rhythm and you'll actually feel really quite good because of it. Um, but you know, something that you can do even right now is to just kind of reflect on that and ask yourself, um, how is my sleep and what are some things that I could do to start to improve my sleep? In what areas could I kind of work on that and make it more of a priority for me? Um, if that's something that you feel you need to work on. 
And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to iHerb for sponsoring today's video. Again, all of the links to different foods that I mentioned you can find in the description box below. And um, I really hope that you found this topic helpful. If you have anything to share, anything that has helped you improve your energy levels, please share in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear from you and I will see you all in the next one.